work as a tow truck driver here in Brookhaven. So let's go to get started. I'm just gonna run into my tow truck and I should probably go ahead and equip the job so people can actually call me in case they need some help. So there we go. Now I equip the tow truck job and let's go ahead and drive around and see if I maybe get some calls or we got any cars we can tow. Look at this abandoned car right here. We gotta get that towed. All righty, let's gonna get the flip it down. Perfect. Then we should probably go to put out some cones just so people know that I am working here. So there we go. A few cones are placed and let's gonna drive this old car up on a flatbed get that locked in place perfect okay we just gotta collect the cones again and bro i'm actually getting a call as well holy cow where is this call coming from okay so it's coming from way over there uh i will just have to deliver this car asap and then i'm heading over to the call whoa man what a busy start today i feel like this is gonna be a really busy day because once it starts like this it's gonna end up like this okay so i think i'm just going to be driving up here and then take a left turn and i should even probably go ahead and equip the prop because I do got a lot of things I can place like signs and fences and work lights in case it gets dark. So that is really, really great. And what do we got here? It seems like a broken down ambulance. Oh man, that's not good at all. All right, let's go and get the tow truck parked in front of the ambulance right here. Let's go and get the flatbed down. And yeah, I should probably go ahead and close down this lane. And yeah, uh, we gotta do that real quick though. So no traffic drives into us. Perfect, just like that. And let's go and put down some signs and the blinking lights as well. Let's go and type in accident there perfect and yeah it seems like the ambulance is actually burning so let's gonna grab a fire extinguisher and we're gonna put down the car fire first because we can't really tow it while it's burning that would risk my truck to start burning as well okay there we go i think the fire is out now let's just go in and do a one last check yep the fire should be out and no dude i can't drive it okay so i think it's locked i think the ambulance driver will have to drive it onto the flatbed and i'm wondering is this truck gonna fit on the flatbed not really sure okay let's gonna see and yeah Oh, it locked in place. Sweet. Okay, nice. Now we just gotta collect all the stuff we just placed there. And let's gonna collect the cones as well. Boom, just like that. Perfect. And now we just gotta take this ambulance over to the auto shop. And I think we gotta do some repair work as well. And let's gonna push this tire out of the road real quick. Okay, was that able? We're able to push it off the road. Yeah, it's kind of off the road now, which is good. And the ambulance was in full flames as well. So I think the engine might have, uh, yeah, collapsed on him and stuff like that. But you know what? He was missing a tire as well. So we got a few repairs we got to do on this ambulance and I think he will have to drive it on the lift. Not really sure why I can't drive it. It's a weird glitch here in Roblox. You can't really drive other people's trucks or like heavy vehicles like that. I don't really understand why it's like that, but it's just the way it is. So we just have to work around it. It's fine though. So let's go and grab a tool from the toolbox right here and get to work. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go and work on the engine now and I will have to grab a tire as well. So let's go and go here and grab a tire real quick. Perfect. And we got to get that attached and we gotta screw it on. Okay, and I think it should be done soon. Let's go to see. And boom, it looks brand new. All right, and let's go to take our payment. Okay, that's gonna be $1,000. Cash or card? Okay, it seems like it's gonna be card. Yep. I will pay by card. All righty, follow me then, sir. Follow me. So let's go to get that uh, typed in on the computer. $1,000. And boom, it went through. All righty, you have a good day, sir. Hopefully, you will uh, go ahead and rescue some people. Sweet. Okay, so that was the second, uh, yeah, second call of today. The first one was was actually towing that old car out of the road. And the uh, second one was getting that ambulance in check. So nice, nice, nice. Let's just go ahead and patrol around the city here and see if we can go ahead and find some abandoned cars or wrongfully parked vehicles. Because we have to tow wrongfully parked vehicles. That is blocking the traffic. It kind of makes sense, no? So let's go to see what we got around here in this city. There's not awfully a lot of vehicles here. Nope. Okay, it seems like the city is actually quiet today. Okay, Brookhaven is not usually this quiet. But yeah, it seems like really, really peaceful. All right, well, that's good. That's good. People are actually good with their cars. They're parking their vehicles inside of their houses, maybe using the, uh, yeah, all the parking spots and stuff like that. That's great. Okay, while we wait for the next call, I think I'm just going to be heading into Brooks Diner and grab myself a donut. And no, dude, I'm getting another call. Oh, man, I thought I was going to get a donut break. I guess not, dude. Well, let's go head over to the call and see where this is coming from. It seems like it's coming from over by the forest, but it's quite far away. Okay, so I'm really wondering if, is it going to be a farmer or is it gonna be somebody else i don't know it would make sense if it's a farmer down there we just kind of have to see so i see a vehicle right there but that's not where the call is coming from i do see another vehicle that is smoking and is that vehicle burning up ahead yeah bro i think it's burning dude what why is all the vehicle burning man i don't understand but i was gonna get the flap it down i should probably go to get a fire extinguisher real quick and we're gonna put down this car fire bro because this is quite serious please save my truck yep i'm trying sir i'm trying okay we're gonna put down the car fire is because yeah it's burning
running around the fields here and we don't want the fields to burn down so let's gonna get this truck up on the flatbed and is this gonna be too big this is like a huge truck dude so hopefully it will fit on the back there and yo it fits i think it kind of glitched up by a flatbed but it should be fine okay we can actually drive with it that's cool okay let's gonna take it over to the auto shop but even though we put out the fire it's still smoking so we're gonna take it over to the auto shop and do a few repairs on the engine it seems like and get that all fixed up and make it look like brand new again oh man what a busy day this is the third mission of today okay and i feel like we got a lot more missions left it's just that kind of a day you know if it starts busy it's gonna end busy and yeah it's just gonna be a really really busy day so let's gonna get the flatbed down and drive this truck up onto the lift so we can go ahead and get under it and start fixing on the engine and all the underwork there we go we're lifting it up and now i just gotta remove my flatbed off the road because i don't want to get blocked traffic with my flatbed so there we go let's gonna park it up on the side here and i should probably go to just place a couple of cones by the flatbed because this is gonna be my private parking area and let's gonna get to work so let's gonna grab a tool and we're gonna get under the engine here and yeah there's some cables loose and stuff so we gotta reattach those and hopefully we'll stop smoking and i think it should be good right now and look at that it's not smoking all right so let's gonna jump into the truck again and let's gonna get the lift down and bro this vehicle is so large i don't think we need to wait for the lift and bro why can't i drive it right now uh did it lock it i think it locked this truck all righty well, well let's just go ahead and get our payment then i guess okay sir that's gonna be five thousand dollars and it just had to be the money bag okay perfect let's go ahead and store that in the back here thanks for all the help yep no problem my man have a good have a good one my man enjoy your truck enjoy your truck so there we go let's gonna take the tow truck out for a spin again and i do see a abandoned vehicle in front of us so do we have to tow this vehicle okay somebody just jumped into the vehicle all right we won't have to tow it oh now it just jumped out let's go to keep an eye out for that vehicle right there because if it's gonna abandon it then we'll have to tow it and let's go to see it now we got a couple of more vehicles here in the city and that car is wrongfully parked you can't really park on the sidewalk like that so let's go have a chat with these guys and tell them that they can't park there hey guys you can't park here you can't park here guys this is not an official parking lot so if you don't move your car i will start towing it and they're just completely ignore me you know what i'm gonna tow your vehicle then guys if you're not gonna listen to me i'll tow all of the vehicles here so let's gonna get in the car and it's locked okay so that's why she was not stressing because she locked her vehicle well i can still tow your vehicle away so there we go let's gonna back it up right here and i was gonna get it on the flatbed <laughs> That's what you get, bro. You're not listening to Mr. Tow Truck, man. And I'm just gonna tow your vehicle away then. Okay, perfect. That was the first vehicle. And we gotta go back because there is a yellow Ferrari that is wrong flip parked as well. So let's gonna go back and get that picked up as well. Okay, we're closing in. And there we go. There's the yellow Ferrari. Alrighty. I think I will just go ahead and do the same thing all over again. Let's just go ahead and swoop it up onto the flatbed. So there we go. Let's gonna back it up. And boom. Now it's swooped up. And yo, there we got it. Haha. <laughs> We're towing away their vehicles. Awesome. All right. Let's go head over to the auto shop again and get this vehicle dropped off. And, bro, I'm getting another call. Uh, yeah. It seems like it's maybe coming from over by the lake. So, let's go get that dropped off. Let's go get the flatbed up again and head over to the caller. And let's go see. Uh, where is this vehicle? Is it over by the lake? It seems like it's gonna be over by the lake. So, let's go head over there and see what we got. Oh, dude. It's on the camping grounds. And I do see a police cruiser that is broken down. And it's missing a wheel too. Holy cow, dude. All righty. So let's go and get the flatbed down and start towing away this police cruiser. It's missing a wheel. Oh, it's missing a couple of wheels, actually. Oh, man. This is going to be an expensive one for the police department. Well, jump on in, man. Hop on in. Okay. Let's go and tow this police cruiser over to the auto shop. Get it fixed up. And hopefully, it will go back on the road again and do their patrol. And, dude, my tow truck is so slow. Let's go and change that, dude. We can't be going that slow. That is just like way, way, way too slow. Okay. Let's go and pick up the pace a little bit so we can go a little bit more quicker okay we're closing into the auto shop right here let's gonna get the flip it down and this police cruiser onto the lift real quick so we're gonna fix the engine and exchange a couple of wheels it seems like so yeah it should be a fast one let's gonna grab some tools there we go and let's gonna get under the engine real quick there we go perfect and we should go ahead and probably grab a couple of tires so this is gonna be the first tire let's gonna reattach that to the front here and let's gonna grab the last tire as well so boom just like that and 
Yeah, let's get that attached to the back. Nice. And there we go. I think it should be done right now. So let's gonna get the lift down and drive it off the lift. Oh, dude, I think I scratched it a little bit, but let's gonna get our payment. All right, ma'am, that's gonna be $10,000 because it is a sports car. You were missing two wheels. And yeah, let's gonna grab the payment and boom. Thanks. Yep, have a good one. Have a good one. So yeah, that was the last mission of today. That has been a super hectic day as a tow truck driver here in Brookhaven. And that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.